Hey everybody, it's Andrew. I'm here at IFA Berlin 2024. I'm with visiting with Lenovo and a lot of great stuff here. We got stuff behind me from AMD. We have stuff from Qualcomm and of course the brand new Intel offerings here in 2024. So there's a lot to get to here at IFA 2024. So without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, first up is a 14 inch laptop here it's a clamshell design running the amd ryzen ai 365 processor with the radeon 880m graphics 32 gigabytes of lpddr5x ram so that's always good dual channel ram and you're looking at a terabyte of gen 4 2280m.2 ssd storage and i gotta tell you this is looking gorgeous because the display is a star here 2.8k resolution 2880 by 1800 it is an absolutely gorgeous display play and 16 to 10 aspect ratio 120 hertz so you're going to get that high refresh rate that we like uh, this is certainly going to give you that very smooth very fluid experience you're looking at uh, some really good ports here uh, you're looking at a usb type a you're looking at a headphone jack your power button and a, and a kill switch for the webcam that's all on the right side on the left side are two usb 4.0 ports and an hdmi 2.1 so this yoga pro 7 is a really nice 14 inch all metal design and it comes in this really nice lunar gray. We've seen it before. It's a tried and true color. Uh, it doesn't show too many fingerprints. We might see a few uh, fingerprints here and there, so you might have to wipe it down. But overall, I've liked the lunar gray on the yoga line throughout the years, and this is looking good. I can't wait to get one into review. Hopefully, that will be coming soon. Next up is the ThinkBook Gen 7 Plus. Now, this is a pretty interesting option here. This is the AMD Ryzen 365. It's got the Radeon 880M graphics. So we've seen that before with the Strix Point. It's actually working out pretty well. We also have 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's LPDDR5X 7500 megatransfers per second, dual channel RAM. So that's pretty good up to two terabytes of ssd storage here pcie gen 4 and you're looking at a 16 inch 3.2k 165 hertz display and it is looking pretty nice now the display to me is the star of the show here or one of the stars of the show and it has a low blue light filter it's going to get as bright as 400 nits on this one and it really has good calibration and so forth right out of the box so for those content creators you may be able to use this for content creation in fact you could use this for content creation now one of the interesting things on this of course is going to be the ports now uh, this is going to have a full-size sd card reader here and you're also going to get a usb a port right there a drop jaw ethernet lan port and a kensington lock port but look at this a hidden right here under this latch is a hidden usb port that you could put a dongle and hide it away and then close it up so nice having that hidden port there and then of course on the left side you get a usb type c 4.0 port type a hdmi another usb c port and a headphone jack so pretty nice for the content creator comes in the luna gray here think book uh two-tone is going to be here we've seen that before so really really nice and i can't wait to get one in here to check out into the studio i should say this does have a numeric keypad so for those number crunchers out there you're going to like that it also has a pretty nice trackpad a nice keyboard those familiar smile shaped keys and again a three point 2k resolution display which is i think the star of this one again 165 hertz so hopefully we'll get one in very soon to check out all right next up is from the thinkpad line it's the t14s gen 6 and then of course we just looked at one with the snapdragon but this one is from with running the amd and this one of course is running the amd ryzen ai pro series 360 i believe and this one is going to have a lot of the business features that are required of a thinkpad so you're going to get all those added bonuses there and then of course the legendary thinkpad keyboard on the t14s is here again the good key travel the overall good tactility when typing one of my favorites of course you also get the track point the physical mouse buttons everything you would find in a thinkpad is here and of course uh Thin and Light is also the name of the game on this S series. So uh, what we're looking at here is up to 64 gigabytes of LPDDR5X RAM running at 7,500 megatransfers per second. You're also looking at up to a terabyte of, of storage and a 14 inch 
IPS display. We're looking at full HD plus on this one, if I'm not mistaken. And that is, of course, a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. So again, for those that need to get business work done and of course, productivity suites and all that, this is going to get the job done. Uh, ports, you're looking at two USB-A on the right and a Kensington lock. And then on the left side, an HDMI, you get two USB type C 4.0 and a headphone jack. So you got you covered pretty much on the ports. You don't get a SD card reader would have been nice, but on a 14 inch, not necessary. So again, running the AMD Ryzen AI 360 Pro or whatever they're calling it. Again, AMD's got to change the name, make it a little bit easier for us reviewers to remember, but it's running the Strix point here, business style here, and we're going to hopefully get one in very soon to check out. Okay, so let's move over to some of the Snapdragon Copilot Plus PCs that have been announced here at EFA 2024. The IdeaPad 5X 2-in-1, a 14-inch convertible laptop running the Snapdragon X Plus. Now, this is a brand new chipset being released uh, today from Qualcomm. So I have a video coming out today from Asus on one of those. So check it out. I'll leave a link when we're done. But as far as this is concerned, an all-metal design here, fingerprint reader on the deck here, uh, really nice smile shaped keys of course uh with in addition to having a snapdragon x plus you get the adreno integrated graphics we're also getting here 16 gigabyte gigabytes of lp ddr5x dual channel memory a terabyte of storage you're looking at uh, m.2 2242 so it's a little bit of a smaller form factor ssd to a terabyte as i said and a 1920 by 1200 full hd display it's an oled display so a full hd plus oled it's also running at 60 hertz so no option i don't think for 120 which is a little disappointing but we'll have to see again i'm a big fan of the oled i can tell you right looking at this this pre-production unit here the blacks are deep the vibrant colors are all there so really really nice now uh, as far as the battery you're looking at a 57 watt hour battery on here two two watt speakers on this and you're also looking at the luna gray it's been the theme a lot of these idea pads in the past and of course the luna gray won't show too many fingerprints it's a light enough to hide those so that's been pretty good and it's a multi-touch display as you can see here so you can use your finger to navigate and so forth that's always pretty good and then as far as ports you got two usba ports a micro sd card reader and a power button on that right side and then on the left side you're looking at an HDMI port, two USB-C uh, 4.0 ports, and a headphone jack. So pretty good in terms of the ports. I like the inclusion of a micro SD card here, a card reader here. This is the IdeaPad 5X 2-in-1, a 14-inch convertible. Hopefully we'll get one into review. I do expect it at some point. So stay tuned. That is coming. So next up is the IdeaPad Slim 5X. And of course, this one is running the Snapdragon X Plus. Again, a very efficient processor. We're going to give you great battery life, good efficiency, run cool and quiet. That's the name of the game. And 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X dual channel memory. You're looking at a terabyte of storage here, M.2 2242. So it's a little bit of a smaller form factor as well. And you're looking at a 57 watt hour battery here. And you're also getting two USB-C full function ports to the display port and all that stuff. They're 4.0. And you're also getting HDMI, a headphone jack. And then of course, on this side, you get a micro SD card reader, two USB-A ports. So they've got you covered in terms of ports on this IdeaPad Slim 5X. So looking pretty good. Can't wait to check that one out as well. Here we have another one running the Snapdragon X Plus, and this is from the ThinkBook line. It's the ThinkBook 16 Gen 7, and I looked at a variant recently, and unlike the AMD one we just took a look at, this one is running that new Qualcomm Snapdragon X Plus. So we're looking at 32 gigabytes of that very fast RAM, LPDDR 5X RAM, at running at the fast 8448 megatransfers per second. It's dual channel memory, and you're looking at a terabyte of storage. A display here that you're looking at two 2.5K, that's 2560 by 1600. And it's going to give you that 16 to 10 aspect ratio that we want. Got the numeric keypad, the smile shaped keys, the really nice touchpad. Again, very nice display, non touch, but of course, uh, we'll test all the metrics out of that and everything. On the right side is a full size SD card reader, two USB A ports, and a Kensington lock port. And then on this side, you're looking at another USB 4.0, a headphone jack, and HDMI. 
So really excellent port selection for those that need to do content creation and having that full size SD card reader as a content creator, I certainly approve it. This is looking really exciting with all these new, brand new Snapdragon X Plus processors. Again, I can't wait to test all these out very soon, so stay tuned. Next up is the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13 Aura Edition. Not only is this lighter than the Gen 12, they've shaved down the weight, but they also have the new Lunar Lake processor. And of course, that is uh, gonna follow up the Meteor Lake that we saw. It's the Intel Core Ultra 2. And of course, we'll talk about that once I get the unit in for review, but it's also the Aura Edition. So this is a collaboration, an exclusive collaboration between Intel and Lenovo, where they give you certain features, like I can take an iPhone and tap the side of the unit and you'll transfer all your photos from the iPhone to the ThinkPad. And I think that's a great option for especially business users, content creators, and so forth to move your media or your photos, videos, whatever from the from the phone to the unit. And that's gonna be good. Now also has different modes and we'll look at that in a little bit. Now, as far as this is concerned, this is running the Core Ultra 7, the 268V. So we're looking at eight cores here, four performance cores, four efficiency cores. And it's a little different than the Meteor Lake. It's gonna be more efficient. They're promising better battery life. They're promising to run cooler and quieter. Of course, the proof is always in the pudding and we'll have to see once we get one into the studio. But I, got, I can tell you it is feeling feeling lighter than before. So they've shaved off a little bit of weight. Uh, you're looking at 32 gigabytes of RAM here. You're looking at a uh, terabyte of storage here and the ThinkPad keyboard that we know and love. Of course, it's gonna have the good key travel and all that. And it's again, this is a new processor from Intel that is promising more efficiency and better battery life. And I think if we can combine that with very good performance, I think they may come back into the lead, but who knows? We got all the stuff from Qualcomm with the Snapdragons. We have the AMD processors with the Strix point. So it's a great time to be PC enthusiast. And I think with laptops here for 2024, it's an exciting time. So uh, very, very good stuff here. Now, uh, this is going to have a 2.8K OLED display option. We've seen it before, 120 hertz, absolutely gorgeous. Here we have the track point, which is an inherent part of the ThinkPad DNA. And of course, we have uh, the touchpad here, which I think is very good. Now, I don't have the one with the Sensil. I don't know they didn't tell me if they're going to have one on the new lunar lake model i did i have one actually from sensor that i still have to get to that they sent over on the gen 12 i'll take a look at that so if they can put that one in here that would be even better but we'll see but so far, this Aura Edition is looking very promising. Now, as far as ports are concerned, on the right side is your headphone jack, USB-A, HDMI, and you also get a Kensington lock port. And on the left side is a USB-A, a Type-C Thunderbolt 4 port, and of course, a second Thunderbolt 4 port. So good, good coverage here in terms of the ports. No SD card reader, right? Yeah, I didn't see an SD card reader, but would have been nice. And I think they also offer this with the option optional 5G, the, all the business features I think that you'd want are going to be offered here. So hopefully I'll get one into the studio very soon to review. I'm looking forward to Lunar Lake and with this new Aura Edition. Next up is the Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition. And this is gonna be running the new Intel Core Ultra 2 processor. It's the Core Ultra 7 258V. And this one has uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. It's gonna have a terabyte of storage. And it also has that Aura Edition. So what is the Aura Edition? Well, if you tap the phone here, you could bring up your photos here. And it's showing here on this uh, display here so you can transfer media it's pretty interesting and then you have a little bit of some creative scenarios here you get the different modes here you got attention on you've got the collaboration mode you've got the wellness mode and then this gives you the battery saver the adaptive power mode and the eco performance so all the different controls at your fingertips so what Lenovo and Intel did is they collaborated very closely on this and it's exclusive here here with Lenovo and Intel. And this is the only place you're gonna find the Aura. And again, we just saw it on the ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 13. And here's the Aura 
edition of the Slim 7i. So we have a 15 inch display here and this one is going to have a 2880 by 1800 resolution. Now in North America, this is gonna have an LCD. I believe outside North America, there will be an OLED option, but don't quote me on that. And then if, as far as the display, it is a touchscreen display uh, that looks uh, like it's pretty responsive and pretty gorgeous actually. So looking good, looking forward to it. It should be 120 hertz display. So for those that want the smooth fluid experience, you're going to get it here. And the port selection here is good. You're looking at a kill switch on the right side for the webcam, a power button, USB type C 4.0, and of course, with Thunderbolt 4 actually, I should say, and a USB type A. And then of course, on the left hand side, another USB type C Thunderbolt four port, a headphone jack, and an HDMI 2.1 port. So, so that is a little bit of a look at the Yoga Slim 7i Aura Edition, which is an exclusive between Intel and Lenovo. Looking forward to checking it out when I get a review unit into the studio. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and X, the platform formerly known as Twitter. And don't forget to check out my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.